It's ethical rule numero uno in our field, don't steal someone else's work. Monday, Star Tribune had to call out one of their own. Film critic Colin Covert resigned from the Strib last night after an investigation into his 30-year collection of work. Sadly, this story was the most read story in the Star Tribune this morning. In the paper this morning, a story of theft. This time, the culprit was one of the Star Tribune's own writers admitting and apologizing for stealing others' words. The editors of the Star Tribune say Colin Covert used the phrase self-glorifying masochistic mush, which also appears in a critique by Pauline Kael in 1974. Other phrases used by Kael that appear in Covert's works, according to the Strib, archaic big musical circus, comic strip craziness, and stardust is slightly irritating. After an investigation, the Strib says eight other pieces from Covert contain unique phrases used by writers for The New York Times, Paste Magazine, Vulture.com, The Wall Street Journal, IndieWire, and The Hollywood Reporter. If there was any doubt of plagiarism, here's the most extreme example. I'm embellishing literary letters. In Covert's review last month of the film, ironically titled, Can You Ever Forgive Me? He writes, quote, there's breathtaking craft and control in her performance, but not once do you sense the tools at work, end quote. Last year in The Hollywood Reporter, John Frosch writes about the film Call Me By Your Name, saying, There's breathtaking craft and control in the performance, but not once do you sense the tools at work. And I hope that in newsrooms all over the place, people are sitting around asking that question. Could that happen here? Scott Libin is a University of Minnesota journalism professor and chairman of the Radio Television Digital News Association. Is there a line between piggybacking and straight up plagiarizing? And if so, where's that line? There's nothing more fundamental to journalism than attribution and transparency. You know, if I use an expression that I heard on the bus this morning, but it's a common expression, I don't feel the need to attribute it to the person who is sitting next to me. Right. When I use a unique combination of words of the sort involved in this matter, right. it's very hard to imagine that that just occurred spontaneously to two people decades apart. How has the web changed plagiarism? Well, I mean, I, I think the web has made it both easier to lift language from others if you're so inclined, and um, easier to detect plagiarism when it occurs. So it cuts both ways. According to the investigation by the editors, at a time when journalists are being vilified daily from the highest levels, from these podiums of power uh, and called fake news, I can't imagine that credibility has ever been more important than it is today. Also in the editor's note this morning, Covert makes a statement that reads in part, I'm sorry to say that through too many mistakes over the last 30 years, I have compromised the Star Tribune's meticulous reputation for integrity. It is no exaggeration to say that I am grateful for the bottom, from the bottom of my heart. When blunders occur, it is proper to admit them, correct them, and move on.